this and this drill is real important for us to kind of test our policies and procedures internally and we can talk about things we can table talk things to death but actual real role play real scenario really these kind of situations generally produce more questions for us and more areas that we need to you know tighten things up and that's what we're trying to get out today to determine areas where we've got our, our stuff in order and areas that we need to work on areas we need to focus on so the main outcome from today that I'm looking for is areas that we need to improve on and it's really hard to do in a tabletop or a role play discussion when we get a real life scenario rolling we can actually see where there's gaps in the processes and stuff and we can tighten those up so that's one of the real outcomes we're looking for today we've got over 30 40 actors uh, role players that kind of thing we've got another probably 30 or 40 maybe even 50 observers controllers evaluators uh, that kind of thing uh, I'm throwing a number out, but we've probably got close to 150 people involved. The scenario today was an armed intruder at uh, Discovery Park, a research uh, center that houses our College of Education, the College of Information, and a computing center. Uh, as I understand it, the gunman entered the front door, uh, went down a hallway, uh, firing as he went, injured several people. It's the first time we've had it on site at our venue. But we've been indirectly involved several times over the years, but this is the first time we've actually had it at, at, on site at our building. On campus? Yeah. Okay. In conjunction with the city. We've done our own internal stuff, but this is the first time we've done a full scale with, in conjunction with the city. It could happen anytime, anywhere, so we always want to do what we can do to be prepared. I mean, obviously, uh, over the years, we all heard different stories. You know, Columbine was kind of there's, there was incidents before Columbine, but stories that received national attention. And Columbine kind of got it started, and obviously, most recently, Sandy Hook and some other incidents, mm -hmm. the Kansas Mall, Aurora, Colorado. You know, so it's it's on everybody's radar, and this is just an opportunity for us to you know look at it from an internal perspective. Excuse me, Kevin Coffee. I need to break off. Right, Jason, 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 how are you doing? Walking through.